Hello and welcome back to Refresh Furniture with my furniture flipping plug break. I know guys I need to paint my hair so next week that's my job okay. Um, on the weekend I went shopping and I found this beautiful little coffee ta side table for $10. The stain finish is about to come off so I'll uh, light sand here. Uh, the veneer I think will need to be stuck down in place and well, there's a bit of water damage on it. A lot of people are probably sitting there going, just restore it back to its normal beauty. I'm really sorry. You know, a lot of this old furniture, if I paint it, you can use stripper if anyone buys it down the track and you can restore it. Okay, so I don't see that I'm actually wrecking it. Very controversial, but hey, you know. Um, I'm going to keep this for my home and for me the colours are very dark. I want something to brighten my room. I've got a very old fashioned house with the ornate ceilings um, and then I've got, as you can see, I like to use a lot of colour in my house. So this will be painted a very light colour. Now the first thing to do as always, to pretty dirty. Now we've got some marks on it here, some stains coming off already. The most interesting part is this water stain here. Okay, so I'm hoping to get all that off. And you can see that the veneer sheet is actually lifting off. So we'll see how I go. I'm going to try and see if I can get rid of these watermarks first. Okay, right, so we've given that a bit of a dust. Um, now to clean this with, I've got a non-scratch chocks. So again, you just spray on the carts and wheelies and you give it a bit of a scrub. Frank, you drink it. Don't drink the water. You know, they did say don't work with animals and kids and, and I'm working with both. wondering why do we clean the furniture before we sand it and you know because it's only going to get dirty again um, the reason for that is if you don't clean the furniture first all that dirt and grime will go into your it will remain in your furniture the grain on this wood is actually beautiful I'm kind of like I might have to rethink what I'm doing no Frank and get out, sorry guys, I don't know how to put Frank away. This is the color of the water already. It's pretty dirty. All right, ah, ah. Okay, so this has been washed down. I am going to give it a very light sand with a 240 grit sandpaper. And we'll see how this veneer comes up. Because it's veneer, I'm worried a few points if I go any more. I'll bust it. So you get a damp, wet microfiber cloth. And let's see how, what we've got here. Okay, so when this is wet, it shows you the true color. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like all the different tones and stuff. That is really nice. Wow. What do you reckon, Frankie boy? So I've just popped this in. This is a 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to give it a scuff sand, so this part here I will paint and we're just going to let this wood here sit for itself. Frank, thank you, Becky. I know, you're going to have to move, buddy. This is not good for you. So yes, my plan to completely paint all of this is out the window because I fell in love with the wood grain. The veneer, thankfully, was better on top than I expected. There's still a few stains, um, there's little patches if you have a look, of stains still existing. But the veneer is getting thin and it's getting ready to blow through the veneer. So I'm not going to go any further. The best way to actually get all the stain off veneer is by uh, stripping it. I don't have any paint stripper. I'm a bit of a greenie so I'm going to have to investigate more into some environmentally friendly. I'm going to bleach this baby 
Now I am using just home bleach that I got at the supermarket. I've got a cheap brush. Guys, you need to wear gloves. You need to wear a mask or a respirator. Now, it is preferable to do this in the sun and I'll probably have three goes. Okay, so I'm happy with the stain at the moment and I'm going to use vinegar. Guys, it's looking a little bit like it's gonna rain and rain is forecast, so please forgive my very long distance. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down with a bowl of vinegar and just wipe over the bleach because that will stop it. That'll neutralize the effect of the bleach and then I'll wash it with water. So yesterday I got in and we used some lovely chemicals on this and I stripped off all that gunk. I used methylated spirits to neutralize and today I've just used a hundred grit sandpaper. You're out there Frank? Can I speak please? I'm going to put it down. So I used a hundred grit sandpaper and I have um, you're being pretty naughty today. All right, and I sanded the inside of this and got rid of all that extra stain. So as you can see, <laughs> the colors, Frank. So as you can see, this is a lot darker than the color here, which is bleached. So what we need to do is we need to go in and bleach that corner again. Guys, I are we ready? Okay, so. I was going to paint and then I didn't. I have bleached, I have stripped. So, are you ready to see what it looks like? We are. And, okay, so if we zoom on here, you can see there's a little bit of discoloration. It is for my home, and guys, I don't think anyone will notice. Right. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so I'm kind of underwhelmed with my bleached look. I don't think I've done this Art Deco justice. Art Decos are supposed to be, they're supposed to be divine. They're supposed to stand out. <laughs> My husband likes the raw look. I'm gonna show the top I love. So if we have a look at that top, that is glorious. What I'm not quite happy about is, I, just the raw wood. I think I'm gonna go back to my original plan about painting black here to highlight that so I'd use Carson Millie's black bear I would paint the black the base here black and then for this center piece here you can't see over you puppy um, I would use Carson Millie's shed door okay so a shed door here and on this circle the part here, also the shed door. So the black's only going to be this curvy part, this bottom strip and the feet, and my edge is just a bit.
I've done this as well. How I made the pattern, I got a piece of paper, just did a pattern, and then I put it against the wood using a pencil. <laughs> using a pencil, I just traced around it and then I painted it black. Now we're going to glam this baby up. Now to do, let's, I'm just going to show you what I've done. Look at the colour of this wood. Okay, so that is Katsumili's How Now. Isn't that beautiful? And inside here, I think it looks great. It's all pretty even. Um, I've done some gold trims here. And I'll show you how I did it in a sec. Okay. So I'm going to do an outline of gold just to highlight this particular piece here. And I'm thinking about doing some racing stripes of gold along there. So this is where we're up to. I think it's looking, coming along really well. Okay, so what I've done is I've painted here. I've done two top coats. So now what I'm going to do is add what's called gilding wax. This is the gilding wax that I'm using. Always open your cans with a can opener. So to stop contamination when you are waxing, what you do is you'll get your wax out and just get a little bit out and put it on a container. Okay, so for mine, I've just used some old rubbish that we've used. And otherwise your wax is gonna dry out. Okay, that's probably too much. All right, and you just use that then when you're working with it. All right, you put your lid back on. So that prevents your wax from getting contaminated. Um, you don't wanna waste this. All right, so how to do the wax is pretty easy. Um, if I'm, so I'm just, there's some grooves in here. So all I've done, so all I do, let's see if I can show you properly. Let's zoom in. I am just using a fine artist paintbrush. Make sure it's a good one. It, it's a lot easier. I think the first time I used it, I used a crappy, all right, now see how this is overlapped? I'm not worried about it because what you do, um, you use some clear wax and you can tidy that up later. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so just gonna do that right along the edge. But what a difference, okay, that just gives it so much more glam. This is a Art Deco piece of furniture, so it kind of deserves a little bit of fun. I stripped it down to the bare bones, and now I'm giving her a glamour back. If you've done one of these U-shape tables before I'd love to see, put some pictures in the comment section below I'd love to see what you've done According to plan but I think it worked out if I didn't bleach the wood then this would be really 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 dark and I probably wouldn't have been able to go the black which I think looks very elegant on art deco I love the gold cold contrast um, my 85 year old mother-in-law came down and, and she actually did this design for me and the gold so for me that'll always be a little bit of sentimental value there I'm trying to find the right stencil just to add something here. Um, but it gives it that nice personal touch. I hope you like my design. Um, please let me in the, if you've done a U-shaped coffee table like this in the past, I would love to see some photos. So please share them on the comment section below. Um, now the bleach wood. I've done that and it was so easy to bleach wood. I think in other projects that are a little bit more appropriate would look amazing. All right guys, 
Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. You going to say goodbye, Frank? He's being so You going to say goodbye? You're just naughty. Yeah, can you sit down? You going to say goodbye? Au revoir. video please like and subscribe so I can keep making more like this one thank you bye